Hey guys, this is TechRacer and today I'm going to see how you can install the Peters TWRP recovery on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now this is the modified TWRP recovery. Today we are going to install it on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. So let's get started. <laughs> So first of all make sure that your phone is unlocked that means the bootloader has been unlocked so if you haven't uh, unlocked the bootloader yet you can watch the video which is up on the channel and you need to download the TWRP recovery file which is the Peters TWRP recovery and the link for this file will be in the description as well so you can go and download it from there. So once you have downloaded the file simply power down your device. So once the device is completely turned off uh, hold the volume down and the power button at the same time until you see the fastboot logo as you can see fastboot logo now simply connect your phone with the type C cable to the computer and get back to your computer. So once it's detected on the computer, uh, as you can see, this is the file. Uh, this is the TWRP file, recovery file. Now simply uh, hold the shift button and the right click and open PowerShell window here. Make sure that ADB and Fastboot is installed on your system. If you haven't uh, done that, you need to install that first. So again, the video is up on the channel for that also. So first of all, type the command Fastboot devices hit enter and it should show a random number and a fastboot uh, it means that the device is detected now simply type the command fastboot flash recovery and simply drag and drop the recovery onto the powershell uh, window once it shows the path simply hit enter and it should flash it onto the device as you can see finish total time it means that the recovery has been flashed now simply go back to your phone do not disconnect the cable right now from the computer so once you get back to the phone simply hold the volume up and the power button at the same time until you see the TWRP logo as you can see team win so TWRP is installed now if your device is encrypted then you need to enter the pattern or the password whichever you have so it's decrypting my device So guys the phone is decrypted and is also detected by the computer also. Now guys once we are booted into the recovery simply go to wipe, go to format data, type yes and quickly tap on tick and it will format the user data. As you can see it has formatted. Now simply go to home, go to reboot, go to recovery. Now guys once we are booted back into the recovery simply go back to your computer and simply copy these two files onto your device and your device will be completely empty because we have formatted the storage partition. So once we have copied the file simply go back to your device go to install or uh, uh, select the patch f step vb meta zip uh, swipe to confirm the flash go back uh, then tap on disable dm verity and again swipe to confirm the flash. so once the, both the files are flashed simply go back and reboot the system the device should boot back into your MIUI so as the phone has been booted as you can see now let's try to boot back into TWRP recovery if we still have the recovery or not so simply hold the power button turn off the device and once it's shut down simply hold the volume up and the power button at the same time As you can see we have the TWRP recovery. So guys as you can see the recovery has been installed. So yeah guys this is it for this video guys. If you found this video really helpful then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos. So thank you guys thanks for watching.